Hello, welcome. I hope everyone is doing well today. Today we are looking at the new Polly Pocket bracelet treasures. We have the mushroom bracelet, the unicorn bracelet, and underwater mermaid bracelet. There are only these three in the collection, at least so far. I actually found these at Target. They're $5.99 each. Let's start with the mushroom bracelet. I don't usually open things on camera, but these are kind of straightforward. You kind of already see everything that's here anyway, and there's not a whole lot of packaging to deal with, so I'm just gonna go ahead and open it and show you how you snap it all together. As you can see, you have to put the pieces together, and I think that's part of the fun that you can like rearrange I guess you could take pieces from each bracelet and make your own bracelet if you wanted or make one super long bracelet or at that point I guess it would be kind of like a necklace. I don't know. We're gonna find out. All right, so here are all of our pieces and now we just have to snap them together. And there we go, there is our mushroom bracelet. So let's start over here. We have a purple castle looking thing with a different shade purple door here that says Polly Pocket on it. We can open up the door and in there you can see a throne. So this is probably where you would store your Polly doll. Next we have a super cute pink snail with a little butterfly on top of it and a blue poppet. Pops nicely. Next we have a forest looking scene, lots of greenery with a yellow deer with some purple flowers and this looks like a spot where Polly can sit and ride on the deer. Next we see a lot of purple flowers and a pink swing. Here we have a pink butterfly spinner so the Polly doll can fit in there and you can spin her so it's kind of like a fidget spinner and it's sitting in front of some yellow flowers. And next we have a little mushroom house with a spot for our doll to stand in front. And of course the whole thing clips together like that. And the back just looks like this. Let's go ahead and see if I can wear this. Yes, I can. I wouldn't want to though. Very, very tight for an adult wrist. The doll we get with this bracelet appears to be Lila. She has her hair up in a braided ponytail. She is wearing a purple shirt with a butterfly on it and pink pants. So let's see how she goes in all of these. So obviously she can stand in there and that snaps closed. How well does it stay closed? Pretty good. So I think she would be pretty safe in there. She can sit right here. Kind of, it's not the best. The seat is really, um, it's not very deep. So there's not a whole lot of space for her to sit in there. So it's not super secure, but she can kind of sit there. Then we can also put her in here, which also doesn't work very well because of her head. This little flower bit right here, she's kind of too tall for it. She doesn't fit so well. How can you swing her if she won't fit? That's really frustrating. Is she supposed to stand? Maybe. I mean, that kind of works. I don't know if that's what she's supposed to do or not. Now this will certainly work. She just snaps in at the waist and then you can spin her around. And last, in front of the mushroom house, she can of course stand there on the peg. Now moving on to the unicorn set. Here we go. I quite like the colors of this one. Very vibrant, pretty colors. Again, we have another castle on this side, but oh, um, well, okay. But it's blue this time. Let's see if we can snap this back in real quick. Yes, we can. Okay. It does. I was going to say it doesn't seem like it's going to come off again, but it just did. What is going on? Let's try this again. Oh, that's backwards. Okay. Okay. Do we have it this time? Yes. One thing I didn't notice in the other one is there's actually a peg here. Oh, uh, that one just came off too. Okay, so these doors are kind of a little junky if you pull them down too far, or I don't even know what I'm doing. But yes, there was a peg on this door as well. I totally didn't notice that. So that gives you another spot for your dolls to stand. So that's cool. Now back to the unicorn set. We have a blue castle with a purpley blue door that doesn't want to stay on. Next to that, we have our little spinner. It's not necessarily going to be here. It just depends on how you put your pieces together. But here is our fidget spinner that our doll can snap into. This one it looks to be a shooting star. And the paint is a little messed up there. You can see. Very unfortunate. Next to that, we have a orange and yellow sun popper. 
Next to that we have a unicorn, white with pink hair, stars in the background, another spot for our doll to sit. Here we have a rocking moon so our doll can sit here and rock side to side. And last, a spot for our doll to stand in the clouds with a rainbow in the background. And here's our doll, she's super cute with light purple hair, look at that, four braids, a deep blue shirt with a unicorn and pink pants. So we know she can stand here now, so that's super cool. Let's pop her into the little spinner. Let's see if the unicorn chair is any easier to sit in than the deer was. I have my doubts. Not very comfy looking. How about this little spot here? Now that works a lot better. And last we have standing on a cloud here. Our final set is the Underwater Mermaid set. Here we go. We have a yellow castle this time with a blue door. Seems to be working a little bit better than the other two. Very snappy. Next to that we have a pretty purple clam with our white poppet. Guess that's meant to look like a little pearl. Very cute. Next to that, we have a pink swing on a blue background that looks like bubbles. Now this looks like a seat that they'll actually be able to sit in, so that's nice. Next, we have a blue and pink dolphin where the doll can snap in and spin. This looks a lot like the Polly Pocket set, the underwater set with the dolphin squishies on top, if you know what I'm talking about. And here we have an orange and pink seahorse, another spot to sit. Maybe the doll will be able to sit there. And our last spot is kind of interesting. I'm used to having a spot for her to stand. All the other sets had a peg on the last section for the doll to stand. This just this must be a seat for her. It's a big clam shell, it's pink, and we have a blue pearl, I guess, and a blue starfish. And instead of standing, I guess she will just sit there. Our doll with this set is Mermaid Polly. Her hair is down, and she's wearing a blue shirt with bubbles or pearls and pink stars and a pink mermaid tail. The first we'll try her out here. Of course, she can stand here like that. Here we have have that pink chair. She can sit on here beautifully. Next, let's spin her around with the dolphins. Here's the part that I don't have much hope for, her sitting here. See, yes, still a little bit narrow. Maybe better than the other ones were though. And lastly, instead of standing here, I guess she just sits here. Maybe this is like her throne. Now, I don't have a vintage Polly Pocket bracelet to compare these two. All I have is the bracelet from the Royal Ball Jewelry set that came out not that long ago. And honestly, I would say quality-wise, like the materials used, these bracelets are pretty much the exact same as this bracelet. Obviously, a bit more detail was put into the Royal Ball Jewelry set bracelet because they were trying to mimic vintage Polly Pocket. But the quality of the plastic, the feel of the plastic in your hand it's pretty much the same so now that we've opened them all the question is can they all hook together which of course they can I mean why wouldn't they you can make a super long bracelet necklace playset with these so for example I could maybe snap half of this off we just snap this off and let's just take some more here watch me forget which pieces go to which and I'll be totally lost but here we go we're gonna snap these on and snap snap this on and so now we have this super long I don't even know if you can call this a bracelet anymore but now you can have mix and matched themes so yeah obviously totally doable you might just forget which castle went with which I'm already kind of forgetting now you could also just connect them all like this and have a long string of bracelets it's not the sturdiest connection it does kind of come off easily more easily than if you put them together this way certainly 
certainly if you wanted to you could just make a very long row of bracelets so there you go guys the three new Polly pocket bracelet treasures again these were $5.99 each if you want them I would suggest going to Target to look for them that's where I found them I hope you all enjoyed this video I hope you're having a wonderful day and I hope to see you in the next video bye guys